Hello guys, I'm going to be sharing how to make a custom squad for the league. It's so easy. So first of all you go to edit and then you pick a little team which you want you which you want to be using in the game. And then you try to edit that team. So here I'm gonna pick this little team and I'm going to run some edits on it. So just keep in touch. Okay, time to fix an emblem. I would like to use an emblem which I downloaded. Some of you could get creative enough and create your own emblem so you could use a, uh, an emblem from another club which is on press. Anything is allowed, you just gotta create it. So if you wanna import an emblem, first there's some restrictions. You gotta make it 256 by 256. That's the resolution. So I can easily do that in Microsoft Paint about it. Okay. Change it to five six. Save. Probably it's best to save it as PNG format. That way you could upload it easily. Okay guys, so we gotta push that emblem which I just made into the WordPress folder in documents. So you copy, you go to docs, and you find Konami, and you paste it in the WordPress folder, and boom, you got your emblem. That's the same you're gonna be doing if you wanna change your kit, if you wanna create your kit outside and use for the lead, then you're gonna be doing the same. So after dropping it back there in the WordPress folder, Got to import it into the game. That's quite simple. Okay, see so what I told you about the resolution for emblem. Gotta be 256 by 256 pixels. Okay, so I'm gonna import my emblem now. So after importing, it's so simple to go back that particular team and then just load it up from there so I go back to my team and I go back to emblem and I load it up boom so there we go so the rest is just left for you to do. It's basic press work. You just edit, get creative with your kits and any other thing you wanna do. You could import kits, but if you import kits, then the emblem on the kit won't be your emblem. Because those kits were made like that, or you could use the best kit creator and create your own kits. So just get creative. Change the stadium, change the stadium name, you could change the top change this the net color and stuff like that so that's it so time to register players one of the most important parts so you go to transfers and you go to your team and then you add those players which you want to use according to the guidelines you have guidelines for adding players so i wanted the gear as my goalie Add another player, so it's just as simple as that. Just add first of all, just transfer those players. You cannot create a base copy, base copy players do not work online, so you got to transfer those players in first. 
from their respective clubs. You don't need to worry because you'll never be using this particular team to play in any mode in the game at all. So you just have to pick a small team which you know you'll never use. So when you're done, you save. Now here is the form parts. After you've saved your team, now you open master league. You have to start a master league with that particular team. This is the only way you can do it, which I am aware of, to get you to play online. So you can save, save the master league first of all, but in case you want to alter it at some point. Then, most importantly, you save the team data. This is the most important part. If you miss this part, then you're wrong. Okay, after saving, now you have to go back to the edit menu and transfer those players back to their original club so that you can be able to use them in the original clubs if you want to play offline. Because after transferring Salah to this new team which you created, he won't be in Liverpool. So if you want to play with Liverpool offline, you won't have Salah. So you have to go and transfer him back. Once you have saved him in the Master League data, then you can transfer him back. You can do this for all the players in the team. Or if you are not going to be playing offline, you can still leave them here. But whenever you want to play offline, you can transfer them back. So I'm going to just transfer them back. Once you've saved it in the master league menu, you ain't got any problems any long. So that is that. All the players are back to their default teams. So now, time to game. Okay, we're just gonna hop on the server. See how flexible. So it's just a test. We're not gonna be playing the match, it's just a test. And just to show you. Okay, come on, Konami. Okay, we have it here. So before the match, you're gonna go to when you enter the server, you're gonna go to load user data. Click on load user data and then load your particular data there and then you start the match so that's just all you need to do and that particular squad will be playable online and then that's just it load it Players who you create in edit mode cannot be used online. Players who you create in base copy cannot be used online. Players who can be used online are just original players who are in the game. So that's why you have to transfer and then transfer back to the original clubs. So as you can see, my squad is intact. And voila, I'm good. So thank you guys for hopping onto this platform and I wish to see you create your squad so that we can be in the league as fast as possible. Having vlogs, guys. Take care.